Has this ever happened to you? You get a brand new headset from your favorite electronic store or on your favorite online electronic store. You get it at home. You plug it in by USB. Not that audio jack stuff because that would be easy. And then you start using it just just to find out it has overridden your sound card. What do you do? I give you the solution to this and how to take back control of your sound card on this episode of your technology questions answered weekly. Welcome to Technology Questions Answered, and for those who don't know me, my name is Steve Smith, aka Zidaxis, and yes, you can actually call me that, and I've got a big announcement to say. We've all been used to going to www.zedaxis.net, the basic first home of Technology Questions Answered, which I will now refer to as TQA Weekly, and as of December 4th, 2011, 8 a.m. Eastern, tqaweekly.com gets Born, where you actually get to now view all your stuff on a dedicated website to technology questions answered where you can get all your favorite show notes, episode downloads, custom gear and gadgets, newsletters, weekly surveys, contact page, all the information you want straight on one dedicated website. What am I going to do with the other one? Bring it back to what I had before, just the business site. Don't worry about that. What we need to worry about today is the actual topic of the day, which is the USB headset. Now, I love the idea of a USB headset. It means that I don't go around fixing computers very often anymore, and I don't have to explain to anybody how it works, unless they try to do something extremely specific. So let's get back down to the basics. So what is the companies designing these things expecting of your operating system? And what is it about your operating system that makes this happen? So first, let's deal with the sound card issue, okay? Very basically, when you plug a conventional, and I'm talking about conventional connection, into your sound card, it cuts out all the sound, at least in the past. And all the sound goes from the speakers into your ear. So one of these things. Okay, now this is what the USB headset is doing. It's the same thing. Now, like I said, newer sound cards and control panels for sound cards do allow you to separate the function inside your computer. So you can use earphones and listen to the speakers. What if you want to do the same thing with the USB headset? Well, it is completely and utterly possible. Don't worry about anything. I have only a few details to worry about. How about we go to first? It is called the, hold on, sound and audio devices control panel within your control panel in Windows. Similar things exist in the Mac OS X environment and just about every distribution of Linux. You need only go into the audio option. So what do you want to do is tell the computer's operating system which is your primary sound card. This will basically kill your USB headset, but I will deal with that in a second. So, now that we have told the computer what is the actual sound card, so despite where you're plugging, you'll hear the sound of your game around you, what do we do? Now, let's focus on something else. Let's go to the game. Some of the games offer the same functionality. So if you open the game and go into the configuration menu, you may find, at least in your games, the same option telling which is the primary sound card of the computer. So, knowing this, that'll give you an extra tool, but it's not necessary. So even if the game doesn't have it, you already told your operating system which is the primary sound card. Let's focus now on the chat messenger, and in some cases, if you're a vlogger, how to deal with your video recording software. Now what you do is, you go into the configuration menu, again, you go under the audio option, you tell what is the recording sound card, and what is the output sound card for the chat or the video recording. 
This also gives you the ability to override the microphone on your webcam, folks. So, now that you've gone through that, see, not hard. Very, very simple. And for those who are gonna tell me that their favorite chatting software does not offer this option, I have two choices for you. You can either complain to the company to get it added in, in the next update or change software. That is all you have as a choice. If enough people change over to different software, your favorite solution will add this functionality in it, so don't worry. You had those two choices. Tell them to update or just leave and get a new one. If you want one that does it, xfire.com, which is a game messenger. Now, I use debut video capture software professional for recording of my vlogging and podcasts, and that offers the option within for those who actually want to record video and be able to control the sound card. Next week, I'll make all of you better photographers, or at least I'll help you cheat at it. Now, if you ever had a picture too dark or too light and you want to fix it but you don't know how, forget using brightness and contrast. That doesn't help. I'm going to teach you a new trick. It's called levels. I'll explain what's happening, how to fix it, and you'll look like a better photographer. All on next week's episode of Technology Questions Answered, the same day I launch launch tqaweekly.com thank you for listening to technology questions answered if you wish to submit your questions comments suggestions and or stories until next week ask.zaxis.net if you want to fill out my weekly survey it is survey.zaxis.net don't forget to subscribe like and share this episode thank you for listening be safe and online this has been your technology questions answered have a nice day